Hey guys. Howdy. What's up and welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. My name is Christine. I'm Mooney. And today we're doing our May wrap up. Yep. Let's get started. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum, da. So in the month of May, we did uh, quite a lot of reading <laughs> for this part. Wait, what? what? You, should we just measure our stacks? Christine said mood reading May and was in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I'm not going to be talking about all these books today because half of these books were for vlogs. And technically this book can be in my stack. There you go. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> Anyway, um, so let's just go ahead and run through the things that we're not going to be talking about today, but we are going to mention. So first and foremost, um, Monique and I did a vlog where we went to Barnes & Noble, we played a bookish game, and it was with my parents. And we basically all like picked out books for each other to see if we liked them. I ended up reading Women of Troy. This is a book that my mom picked for me. I read Bullet Train. Monique Red Bullet Train. Yeah, it's in the vlog, linked right here. Yeah, so if you guys are interested, check out that vlog. It's really fun. It was a fun time. It was really chaotic, but that's the brand, so. I'm really excited for the Bullet Train movie. Me too. I keep seeing the trailers for it, and I'm just like, I'm like increasingly more and more. I looked at the ready cast, and I'm it. like, should I have done that? Well, I did. I looked at who was yeah. what character, and I was like, interesting choices. Oh, okay. Interesting choices. My okay. favorites. I'm like, hmm, I'm ready to see how, how they, they play mesh. Okay. Together. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, so that was the first one that we did. And then the next vlog that came out last month, I don't know if you guys know about this tiny little TV show called Heartstopper, but there is a character in that show that reads pretty much, not even pretty much, that reads every episode. So I basically took all of the books that Isaac reads in Heartstopper and I did a reading vlog. And these are not all of them. Some of them um, I had, but I like already unhauled. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys are interested in that vlog and all the books, that I read for it. You guys can click that link up above. Out of all the books, this is the one that I would recommend everybody should read from that vlog. Um, but anyway, if you guys are interested in my full thoughts and things, you can click that link. So that gets rid of half these books. Okay, then <clears throat> I read these two books, The Dragon Republic and The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is for a fantasy series book club. We do live shows where we talk about these books um, and fantasy series is a fantasy book club where we basically read a full series, like a full completed series month by month. So we had both of the live shows last month for this because we were running a little bit behind. But if you guys are interested in full thoughts and everything about, you know, the popular trilogy, you guys can click first. We're going to do the uh, Dragon Republic link right here. And then I'll give you guys the Burning God link right here. So yeah, I mean, what more can I say? It was a good time. It was a sad time. It was the poppy war. <laughs> those are those two books. All right, we're doing pretty great. Now I've got two left and you've got two left. Next, you guys know we do our cringy literature book club. And last month was Catherine Zofre's pick. So we read Deceived by the Gargoyles by Lillian Lark. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lillian Lark, mm -hmm. not Sophia Lark. Sophie Lark, yeah. Sophie Lark. Okay, that's a different person. Right. Okay, okay. Okay. So that is great because I wanted to try another, a Sophie Lark, I think. Okay, I think I there are no saints. That's is that one. is that the one everyone that's talks about? That's the serial about? killer romance. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that I have. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Good to know that mm -hmm. because I that might be my choice. For what? For my pick. Oh, okay, for book club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Anyway, but, but yeah, we read um, Conceived by the Gargoyles, and it pretty much follows a woman looking for a serious relationship. So she goes to like a matchmaker, gets matched with a gargoyle, and it just goes up and downhill from there. Up and downhill from there. <laughs> I ended up giving it a three star. What did you give it? I think I gave it a three as well. Yeah, it's very spicy. It is. And I liked. I liked the matches. I right. liked how everyone was with 
each other. I like the reverse harem. Reverse harem. I like the poly monster. Yeah, polyamorous monster romance. There's also like a stalker trope. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So yeah. there's that. But yeah, it was a fun time. It was a little cinnamon roll situation. So yeah, if you guys are interested in these sprints, I'll go ahead and link the first live show for this one. Um, but we do, that's basically what we do is we read these cringy books live so that you guys can see our reactions and see our thoughts and things like that. So it's kind of a different take on a book club, but it's fun. Yeah, I mean, we ragtag that together and that's what we do every month. Yeah. And then another book club that we also are... A a, a part of something that you guys might have heard on this channel. Something. Yeah, it's uh, called the Movie Night Book Club, where yes. we basically read books that are mo uh, turned into movie adaptions and then, you know, watch the movie. And last month we ended up reading Dev Dawes, which really was like a novella. Yeah, which, um, was, which, which was the same in Grace, honestly. Honestly, yeah, because if it was any longer, I would have it would have been burned it. really... <laughs> just no, not burned it. I'm sure it's like also because it's translated. Like oh, some things didn't, okay. you know, translate. Like it, it probably makes sense in the original language. But like for us, we're like, okay, this is sad. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely sad and tragic. Really? Yeah. His life... But also, he started off being kind of mean. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, well, am I supposed to be rooting yeah, for this like, man? <laughs> why are you beating people? Anyway, so... It was it was definitely a different... Ex what than I expected? I thought it was going to be a little lighter. Yep. Like, I knew it was going to be heavy, but I thought it was going to be more... Into the romance yeah, but than it, his life. Yeah, and it really wasn't about... It was really just a tale. Right. Of Dev Dogs. An overarching tale. Tragedy. Mm. Really. What did you end up giving it? Um... I'll be honest and tell you what. I gave it a two star. Oh, damn. I was going to say we should say it at the same time. Yeah, I gave it a two. Yeah, I gave two, it a two star. I was giving it some leeway because of the translation. And yeah. And it's really, yeah, I don't want to make excuses for it, but I didn't enjoy it. So, but I'm excited to see the movie. Yeah, I think the movie is going to be much better. Yeah, it's definitely so, a re-adaption. Right. What do you call that? An <laughs> A re-adaption. A rewrite of a the whole entire story. A remake. Yeah, there, there you go. A remake. A update. A retelling. There we go. There you go. There's so many ways I could have went and I said, and you, said word, I didn't, re, you did a Moniqueism. I didn't You know, you put it word. together and what do you got? Anyway, if you guys are interested in Movie Night Book Club, we've got that link down below. It's through this app called Fable where we basically read it through the app together and it's almost like annotating mm -hmm. it together. So it's not necessarily like we don't do a live show. It's different than all the other book clubs we're in. So like there's no live show. We don't do really do readings friends. It's kind of like on your own time. Right. When you have time, make a note. Download the book from the app. Make right. a note. And then you can see what Comments. other people are saying yeah. about the book as well. Exactly. That's yeah. Next really month's all it is. is gonna be, uh, or this month's Oh yeah, this month, excuse me. This month's is uh Simon versus the Homo Sapien agenda. Which I've never read, so I'm excited. Yeah, I mean I remember the movie was very fun. Cute, yeah. yeah, so I'm excited. It'll be lighter, which will be good. Um, yes. But if you guys are interested in Dev Does, we are gonna be streaming that next weekend. So that'll be on the nineteenth. Um, go ahead and join our Discord if you guys want the link or like times or anything like that, you can be in the know with that. But yeah, that's how the Fable Book Club works. Um, and Deb does. What a time. What a time. What a time. So. Then we had some buddy reads. I guess it was a readathon. Yeah, it was a readathon. Where we read Hunger Games. May the Force be with you. <laughs> and that's the book I read as well. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, it's not the actual copy, but I read Catching Fire. Catching Fire was the book. It's might be the best one. We... I've only read two, but it's clearly better I mean, than it's the first better one. than the first one. It's almost like a revamp of the first one because, I mean, we all know what happens yeah. in this book. But yeah, so we were supposed to read all three of them. We literally only read one. Um, and... That's fine. Yeah, it was a reread for me. I still, I gave it a four. They tried to rope me into reading all the Hunger Games in a weekend and I... You just were busy. Like, <laughs> I you guys know did, how it is. I was like, I just want to commit to what I can commit to. Right. Mood reading May. Mood and reading I was May. like, I'm in the mood to read this one. And, that's and it was great. Did. Five stars. <laughs> Five stars. There you go. Five stars from... So it was you really good. I think it's also good because I literally just put the movie characters in the thing. So yeah, I'm like, like plugged them in. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, this is a deleted scene. Right, 
<laughs> rereading them, like after you've seen all the movies, it is so much fun. So it's it'll be interesting to see how the prequel goes. Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which I have not read, but I have not read either. You know. Then I did a buddy read for it was Mona May, but we only read the one. <laughs> Technically, I finished it beginning of June, but you know, we're gonna just throw it in here because I said I was gonna read it last month mm -hmm. and it was Bunny. I give, I ended up giving it a four star. This is a very weird book. I think it just tackles mental about mental health, mental illness, but y'all it's strange. Like you have to really stick with it because it doesn't look like it's gonna be that long, but it's kind of dense. Like you gotta be like, okay. Wait. Yeah, when it Monique was reading this, <laughs> yeah. she literally would like stop and like, can I just, this is Monique, okay? She's reading it, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> and I'd be like, are you good? And she'd be like, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> and then like, she'd be like this, like literally. I had like 17 this pages This is how left. many pages she had And I was like, it's gonna take me 30 minutes. Right. Guys. They're like, oh, okay. And I was still. Like, yeah, <laughs> like she would read for 30 minutes and it would be like one page turn. <laughs> And then I'd be like, you good? And she'd be like, it's going to take me a while to finish this many pages. Like, she just came back. And I was like, okay. Okay. So anyway, needless to say, I probably will never read that book. But um, I'm glad that you liked it. You gave it a four. So yeah, well, the real question is, will you be keeping it? Are you gonna I think I am going to actually do a reread one day. Okay, so you will be because keeping it. I think everyone says that every time they read it, they get like something new from it. Okay. Because like, you're like, oh, that's what that meant. Yeah, like if you had to describe it, what is the experience like? Of the first it? experience truly is a fever dream because you're like trying to understand how this mind is working. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so strange, <laughs> y'all. Like, cause if I go too far in and like, what's happening? What's going on? Yeah, like you don't know what's real. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. But like, it's really about this sorority of girls that are just doing weird things. <laughs> and you're just like, what's honey, going on? Like, are we all on? Like, am I the am I the trauma? <laughs> so I recommend if you haven't read it, and you want to be in a fever dream, and you want to be in a fever dream, the first read through. Bunny is, is, cookie crumbles. is the one. The last book that I read last month is actually called The Partner Track, actually, excuse me, Partner Track by Kat Wynn. So she actually sent us her book. This is her book that she sent us along with like a couple of other books off our wish list. And she was like very cute about it. She was like, look, you know, I'm gonna send you my book, but here's some other books in case you don't wanna read it, but I really think you should give this book a try. And I don't know what it is about mass market paperback romances, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it. You know let what I mean? Let me pop a page open. Yeah, let me just dip a toe in. And you know? like, I love a lawyer track story because I, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I was gonna be a lawyer in a past life. <laughs> and so I just like to kind of like have that setting. It's also set in the South, Charleston, South Carolina. It's an age gap romance. And it's- it was like, checking all her boxes. Yeah, like it just like had the perfect storm, basically like ready to go. So anyway, Picked up this book, started it, and I'm not gonna lie, when I first read the first couple pages, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I kept going. And that's what's important because this actually, I had a really, really fun time. So anyway, um, yeah, just a short, quick read. And I was living for the age gap, okay? Because essentially the premise is, <gasps> it's a close proximity trope. So the premise is, so the premise is our main character, Purdy, she is like a very like successful lawyer and she ends up going um, against up against this like younger guy in a court case, whips his butt and he like has such an impression from her from this court case that like he ends up coming from San Francisco to South Carolina and like gets hired at her law firm. Because he wants to be Because he wants best. to like be around her. Yeah, because he's obsessed. Like he's in love with the Coco, okay? I don't know, it's just like very fun, very like steamy. And their relationship is just so cute. It's just so cute. Because obviously Purdy, she's like in her late 30s. She's like, bro, I don't have time to be messing around. Like I'm trying to be the partner in my law firm. I could just really feel how she felt because it's very hard to move up in the South. So what, what's going on with this one bed trope here? That's like in the beginning. So they they ah! essentially have their court case in the Midwest. It's really snowy and cold. 
they end up going to a hotel because they can't get a flight out and they obviously just ended you know their court case together so they go to the same hotel of course and there's only do. one room <laughs> There's only one bed, and Purdy's like, "Look, we don't have to be weird. Like, we're both over thirty. Like, I'm just laying inside. Yeah, like we can he's share like, a room. Like, you're beautiful. Yeah." And he's like, "Well, but you're kind of pretty." And she's like, "I know I am." And he's like, "Yeah, but like," she's like, "Good night." <laughs> yeah. And so then, obviously, some stuff happens, and then that's when he really gets solidified. He's like, "I'm." Coming. Oh! I am coming to get you. Anyway, I just really think it, it was a fun time. Um, I ended up rating it like a 3.5. I think um, it was a one bed trip. But yeah, it was a really fun time. And it just like had a good setting, cute characters. Like it was just a fun time. Highly recommend if you guys are looking for just like a really fun romance. Um, I'm really into age gap romances right now. Like I read a couple and this one was just a fun time. So highly recommend. And I just did want to say thank you, Kat, for sending that to us. Because, you know. Yeah. Thumbs up. And then finally for me, I think, you know, I'm probably missing something. But I read Spy Family. I don't know if you know. But it is a five star, y'all. If you're looking for a quick little manga series. I don't know if it's completed or not. I only know that this one's really good. <laughs> so anyway, it follows, um, Twi no, his name's not Twilight. Oh, his name is Twilight. It follows the spy Twilight and he's tasked with um trying to get close to this student's father and so he needs to have a student in the school. That's the only way he can get close to this parent. So he has to adopt a child <laughs> who is the precious baby cherub of the world. And then he realizes I didn't realize there were gonna be a family interview, so then he has to find a wife. Okay. Which turns out to be an assassin. Okay. And it's just a fun time. It's a fun time. Five stars. It's really cute. It's quick. And apparently, it's an anime that I will be trying to watch. Ooh. Once I have some time. Yeah, this has been floating around BookTube and like Bookstagram, Spy Family. Yeah. Like I so many people have been reading it recently. Yeah, I saw some memes that had the little girl uh, paired up with my favorite characters from um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, who is this child that she could be partnered to like be like fighting this guy? So then I had to buy the see book. what it was. And I understand. So if you guys are wondering about Jade City, I know that we were supposed to wrap that up in this one. We're actually gonna be wrapping that up for next month because the live show for Fana series for that is this month. So that's the book that Monique and I are both reading together. Don't want you to get our thoughts too early. Yeah, exactly. You know, we have to keep everything. We have to allude, you know, to the other videos, you know, so you guys can see all the content that we're creating. But that is still in the works. And then of course, you know, we have a secret vlog that we've been working on for a while. Um, and that one truly, like once it comes out, you guys will understand why it's taken so long. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Not that anyone's like, where is this vlog? Like literally no one cares. But you know, just in case there's like one person who's like, so what about that Lord of the Rings vlog? It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's on the way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's our wrap up. Cool, calm, collected time. We had a fun May. And yeah, we're gonna carry on. We're gonna carry on here. Carry on our way, your son. There be peace when you are gone. Let your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. So that's it guys. Um again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, please. Let us know what y'all read in May and what you guys read in May, you know? <laughs> it's English. Um, <laughs> uh, if you like us, hit subscribe. If you like us, sorry. <laughs> if you don't like us. You can also hit subscribe, yeah. but don't, if, I don't know, whatever you guys feel. We're not really pushy, but we would love if you guys subscribe and you know, have, have us hit our next milestone. And if you wanna know when we're dropping things, you have to hit the notification bell, because that's what YouTube wants you to do. You know, hit the notification bell and you're like, bam. They dropped the secret vlog they've been talking about. Right. Oh my gosh. It really does help with channels like us too. Cause like we try and do videos consistently, but like, you know, life just gets in the way. Mm -hmm. So when we drop stuff, it could be 12 AM. <laughs> 
and you won't know unless you have that notification bell clicked. Yeah, when you wake up, you're like, oh, a Whoa. banner notification. Roomies? What? Who are they? Anyway, <laughs> we're going to go, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in our next one. Bye! Bye.